Hello, welcome to English Video Tutor, lesson number one. Okay, today we're going to start with the letters of the English alphabet. Uh, the letters of the English alphabet is very important because they're the basic elements which comprise the English word. Okay, well let's get started. Um, I wrote every single letter of the English alphabet down. There are 26 of them. And I'm going to read each one of them, uh, one by one. And I'm also going to sound out, sound out exactly how each uh, single letter sounds. Because uh, every single letter of the English language has uh, their own distinct sound. Okay, well, let's get started. A. That's the first letter of the English alphabet. And uh, the sound of A. There's two sounds because it's a vowel. Uh, it's A and, and A. Ah. It's two sounds up for the letter A. A and A. Ah. That's B. That's the second letter of the alphabet. Sound of B is B. C. Third letter of the alphabet. K. D, D, E, E. Uh. There's two uh, ways. Uh, there's two sounds for E. Actually, there's E and E. Uh. F. That's uh, the sixth letter of the alphabet, and the sound of F is F. G, seventh letter. Uh, the way you pronounce G. There's two ways. There's J or G. H, eighth letter of the alphabet. And the way you pronounce H is I. Two ways to pronounce I. I or I. That's the ninth letter of the alphabet. J, tenth letter of the alphabet. And the way you pronounce J is J. K, eleventh letter of the alphabet. The way you pronounce K is the same way you pronounce C. K. L. Okay, that's the 12th letter of the alphabet. And the way you pronounce L is L. M. 13th letter of the alphabet. And the way you pronounce M is M. N. 14th letter of the alphabet. The way you pronounce N is N O. Uh, that's the 15th letter of the alphabet. And the way you pronounce O is O. Oh. P, 16th letter of the alphabet. The way you pronounce P is P. Q, 17th letter of the alphabet. And the way you pronounce Q is Q. It's uh, almost the same as C and K. Okay, 18th letter of the alphabet is R, and the way you pronounce that is R. Okay, 19th letter of the alphabet is S, and the way that sound is S. T, 20th letter of the alphabet. The way you pronounce T is U, 21st letter of the alphabet. And the way you pronounce U, there's two ways to sound that out. It's either U or A. Uh. U or A. Uh. V, 22nd letter of the alphabet. So 22. And uh, from the start, it's 1, 2, 3, up to 22. This is 22. And uh, the way V sounds is v, v, W, 23rd letter of the alphabet. And the way you pronounce W is W, W, X, 24th letter of the alphabet. And the way you pronounce X is X, Y, 25th letter of the alphabet. And the way you pronounce Y is Y, Y, or I. 
it's almost the same as why this uh, Y is almost the same as I um, sometimes uh, or you can have it pronounced as I sometimes so uh, depends on where, where it's in the uh, word but um, yeah there's two ways to pronounce that too it's Y or or I so two different sounds for Y 26th letter of the alphabet and uh, the way you call this letter uh, depends on where you live uh, in America they call it Z in Canada they call it Z and the way you pronounce that is Z okay that's the last letter of the alphabet there's 26 of them and this is the 26th letter of the alphabet so from A to Z there's 26 letters, 26 letters of the alphabet. And the way, and the reason why this is important is that um, the letters of the al English alphabet are the basic elements that makes up an English word. We string together different letters of the alphabet to make an English word like letters. Okay, so let's take this word for instance. That's an English word letters so what al what letters of the alphabet alphabet uh, comprise letters is l e t t e r s so i'll just point that out here l e t t e r s and that is what makes the word letters all right and so you string all these different combinations of these letters to make up a word. Okay, that's the first lesson. Um, the next lesson, I'll uh, string some combinations of different letters here in uh, two or three letter combinations uh, to make different, also different sounds because uh, uh, different short combinations of these letters also have different unique special sounds like for example C and H would be pronounced CH okay but that's for the next lesson okay that's it for lesson number one